certain wise men who traveled long days and weary nights across wastelands and deserts. They explained that they had long accustomed them to fail to look above the world of men for guidance to the most high. They looked into the heavens so they could understand the glory of God. There they noticed the heavenly sign and followed where it led. With them, they brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and earth.
Wasn't that beautiful? Tonight we have several visitors here while the choir is coming down. We want to welcome Charles, Mr. and Mrs. Charles Edwards of Bider, Texas. They are uh, with Sherry Stout. We're so happy that's her sister and brother-in-law. We have also Mr. and Mrs. E.C. Foreman of Beaumont, Texas, a uh, Franklin Castle's friends. Mr. John L. Watts, Sr. of Beaumont, Texas. Annie S. Moy of Beaumont, Texas. Uh, Ezrael Siji of Beaumont, Texas, Harry Graham of Lumberton, Texas, Carl Newman of Port Natchez, Texas, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis and Hilda Weiler of Beaumont, Texas, also Mr. Walter Murray of Port Arthur, Texas, and Larry, Mr. and Mrs. Larry M. Shepard of Vider, Texas. Let's give these folks a real good welcome. We're glad you're here. We're going to be uh, in prayer meeting uh, in the morning. We begin the day here at prayer meeting every morning at 5 o'clock. Praying over needs. Wonderful things that happen. We had one of the most beautiful testimonies given this morning. Uh, my very dear friend and part of the church here a long time, Brother Joe Robles, had to move up uh, out of the, the eastern part of the world uh, in his work. And we've missed him, but Joe called me a few weeks ago and had cancer uh, in his, all through his head. In fact, the doctors gave him 25 days to live. That's what they told him, 25 days to live. Well, he's here today well. We prayed on that phone and God heard. We put it out there at the altar in this prayer meeting every morning. And the Lord heard, he went back, he's totally well. No sign, two different hospitals. Totally well. Stand up over there, Joe, just let them know you're still alive. Amen. <laughs> they told him uh, in one place, 25 days to live. You know, you always need a second opinion on anything like that. So he, uh, he goes to other doctors that give him the same identical report. He called and prayed on the phone. Isn't that wonderful? It's, it's just God is long distance. Amen. <laughs> We prayed, Joe told me, he said, they just give me 25 days to live. We prayed, and I said, Joe, I'm coming up there in 89. I, I want to be in some place I'll be letting you know. And he said, I wonder if that man heard what I said. <laughs> I got 25 days to live. I wonder if he heard. He's talking about seeing me in 89, but I surely will. He's here tonight and well. This is one of our elders here of the church. I don't know what he's up to. He told me he had something to say tonight. Brother Larry Kemp. God bless you. This one, the wise me. <laughs> you know, the whole purpose and theme of Christmas is giving, and we have uh, the best pastors that you can find anywhere. And, uh, they, they give to us day in and day out, year round, so this time we want to have the opportunity to give them a gift. And we want them to all come stand here and everyone from go to this aisle and come across and drop your gift in the pan. Thank you. 